guys, I'm Dawn, your teen librarian, and today I am going to show you four YA fantasy books that feature dragons that you will not see on TikTok or BookTok, either one. I have been a teen librarian for over 12 years, and during that time I have book talked books at schools, I have podcasted, and I have blogged all about teen books. So in other words, you can trust me. I know what I'm talking about. First book, Fireborn by Rosaria Munda. Fireborn is about Anna, sorry. Fireborn is about Annie and Lee who both grew up in an orphanage, but they are very different. Annie is lowborn and her family were all killed by dragon fire. Lee is the son of an aristocrat and his entire family was murdered by revolutionaries or so he thought. When they became of age, Annie and Lee were recruited to join the Dragon Army, which was a feat for Annie because she is a lowborn. While they're training, Lee is contacted by a cousin who didn't die in the revolution. And she has asked him to join his family and to bring down the Dragon military. Annie is in love with Lee. However, she's also the best dragon rider they've ever seen and has been asked to be the captain of the guard. But both Annie and Lee have to make some pretty serious decisions. Lee has to decide if he's going to join his family to bring down the only thing he's really known since he was 11, or if he's going to fight his cousin, essentially, to bring down the rest of his family. Annie has to decide if she's going to choose Lee and whatever he does, or if she is going to become the captain of the guard and ride the very thing that killed her entire family. Although Fireborn has a nice dragon on the cover and is about dragons, the first book really doesn't have a lot of dragons in it because the dragons are babies. They can only like spit smoke. They really aren't doing a lot of damage so this first book is really character driven about Annie and Lee, but I thought that the characters portrayed in this book had honest conversations, were very well written, and it was quite an interesting story. So highly recommend Fireborn by Rosaria Munda. Next, Serafina by Rachel Hartman. Serafina is a Morris Award winner. A Morris Award is an ALA award given to best debut YA author. So, so Rachel Hartman won the year this book was published, which was 40 years ago, dragons and humans signed a peace treaty and humans invited dragons who could change into human form to join the court and make decisions. Serafina is a gifted musician and she's also been asked to join the court. But the day she joins, somebody in the court, a royal essentially is murdered and everyone thinks it was a dragon. So Serafina and the captain of the guard go on a mission to discover who has killed this royal. But Serafina has a secret of her own and the secret, if people find out, could mean her life. Next, Glare. The Alchemist of Loom by Elise Kova. Ignore this shitty cover. This cover is terrible. Do not judge this book by this cover, please. The Alchemist of Loom is also steampunk. In this world, dragons live in the clouds and humans or human enough things live on the ground. Ari lives on the ground and dragons have basically destroyed everything and everyone she loves. And as a retaliation, she kills dragons and sells their organs on the black market to the highest bidder. One day while she's going underground looking for some dragons, she discovers, I'm gonna call him Vera. She has a C in it. Let's say Severa. Severa is basically on the lowest rung of the dragon ladder. And the Dragon King has got to go. And he wants to put his sister on the throne. He comes down. He is hurt. Ari runs into him. And before she can kill him, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We can help each other. 
if you help me put my sister on the throne, we can both kill the Dragon King, who is the oppressor and is basically oppressing all the people who are on the ground. And she says, okay. And of course, they probably fall in love. But that's neither here nor there. Read The Alchemist of Loom. Remember, ignore this cover. It's a good book. Next, Damsel by Elena K. Arnold. Damsel was a National Book Award finalist. That's a pretty big deal. The fairy tale goes like this. When the king dies, the prince must slay a dragon and rescue a damsel. Amma wakes up in the arms of Prince Emery. She does not know how she got there. She does not remember being captured by a dragon, but all she knows is everyone in town is saying, you're now queen. So she goes, okay, I'm queen. However, she soon discovers, soon? She soon discovers that she's living among monsters. It's the prince. So she's got to get the hell up out of there because she does not want to be a damsel anymore. Elena K. Arnold writes badass mofos. She writes incredibly feminist fiction. So if you are into bringing down the patriarchy, read Damsel. And that's four YA books featuring dragons. Please let me know if you like these books. If you didn't like these books, I want to hear it. Have you read them already? You love them? Let me know. Did you hate them? Let me know. And maybe I will recommend something different for you because that's my job, recommending books to people. All right, thanks for joining me. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.